My name is Vinette Frederick, and today I wear the hat of attorney at law. And of course, I cannot get away from being, at this very moment, the public relations officer of the New Democratic Party, and of course, a candidate. Now, I'm here to respond to false statements made by Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonsalves last night at a public meeting in Mount Bentic, intimating that Trinidadian lawyers will not be permitted to enter St. Vincent and the Grenadines because he has the power to issue work permits and will deny work permits to these lawyers. When senior counsel Anthony Astafan of Dominica entered the state and made public pronouncements in support of the ULP, no issue of work permits was raised. The small army of lawyers is arriving from all over the world to ensure that this election is free and fair. I want to make this very clear. Under the revised Treaty of Chagaramas, Caribbean lawyers enjoy the status of skilled workers and do not require work permits. They will also be volunteering and cannot therefore be considered to be doing work. Criminal complaints will be brought against any persons, whether by order of the Prime Minister or any member of the ULP or any government staff who attempts to prevent our lawyers from entering the country. I would like to announce here today that at earlier this afternoon, we are advised that Mr. Luke Brown, the ULP candidate for East Kingstown, was served with four private criminal complaints. Let me be clear, based on sworn statements given to counsel, private criminal proceedings have been instituted against Luke Brown for alleged cheating in this election, and he is now facing criminal charges. Also charged are Grantley Williams, the chairman of his constituency division, and Afi Jack Hall. These prosecutions send a clear message to anyone else who wishes to attempt to cheat or cheat in this election. We will collect the necessary evidence against you and we will file complaints. You will be prosecuted for your criminal behavior. My last legal point today relates again to the Prime Minister, Dr. Ralph Gonzalez, and the various sexual assault and rape allegations that remain unventilated in a court of law and refer to alleged actions of his. Today, I've been shown detailed video evidence in the form of an interview with Margaret Parsons, which you can see for yourself online on YouTube immediately after this press conference. A one minute version of the half an hour statement that was made by Ms. Parsons is available here for the members of the press and those in the audience to have a look. Let's take a break and let's have a look at what Ms. Parsons has had to say in an abbreviated form. The women of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and girls within that country are not safe. Ralph Gonzalez is a sexual predator. He attacked me, he sexually assaulted me in his office. I went to the appointment that was scheduled. I sat down, started to introduce some kind of a program that we could infuse human rights issues into the, the new constitution. The prime minister came from behind his desk. He held my hand, asked me to get up. And it was at that point he started to grab at my breast, tried to kiss me, tried to put his tongue in my mouth. He kept trying to put his hand down my dress. I had to push him very hard um, and run to the door and just run out and escape. All I could think about was just rinsing my mouth. You could never forget an experience like this. It lives with you forever and it will live with me forever. Had I not gone out of there, I risked being raped by Ralph Gonzalez. He's not worthy to serve and to represent the citizens of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. That is a one minute synopsis of the statement made by Ms. Parsons. 
You can find it on YouTube. As counsel, I believe it my duty to indicate that based on the information being provided by Ms. Parsons, the allegations that she has made are not going away. The assertion is that no man should be allowed to dismiss or avoid such serious allegations and possible criminal charges being brought against them for the conduct which Ms. Parsons speaks of as having been done by the Prime Minister. No Prime Minister is above the law. The law won't be intimidated. It won't be avoided. It won't be threatened. It is independent. The law is the law. Offenders will be prosecuted regardless of whether they are prime ministers, candidates, or voters. If sufficient evidence to bring that prosecution exists, then the prosecutions will come. It is important that the people of East Kingstown and the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines understand that Today, Luke Brown, one member of his campaign team, his chairman of his constituency division, Grantley Williams, and one voter, Afi Jack Hall, have all had criminal prosecutions started against them. The evidence exists and the prosecutions, four charges against Mr. Brown, one charge against Grantley Williams, and one charge against Afi Jack Hall are set to be ventilated on Thursday at the Magistrates Court we believe the Serious Offense Court will hear the matter. I want to thank you for your time.